y'all went along with me, you know that I got that absolutely little wee Moses basket in the other day. And I was so excited because the day that I opened it, it's the day that I got to use it. And that is so exciting for me as a photographer. I mean, I get to play with new things and they're like toys to me. This is my happy place. And anytime I get to add something new to it, I'm so excited. Since this was my first time utilizing this prop, I didn't really know what I needed on the inside. Look, I can guess because I can put the same things in my buckets as I do some of my baskets. And so it was just, it was guessing exactly what I needed. In the inside of this basket, I did put a 10 pound weight and then I used my free form from Modest Little Me. I don't expect you to know what that is. And then I realized that I had walked over without my little stuffers. So I asked older sister to grab those for me and she did. She was so helpful and so sweet. I thoroughly enjoyed this family in my studio, but once she gave me those beans, I decided that it was okay for me to go ahead and unwrap baby. I always go from potato to toes out to my prop shot because I can leave baby partially wrapped if I intend to put them in a bucket or in this case, a basket. And I did. So all I have to do is pull out those arms and I'm really, really excited. You can see there that I'm kind of stuffing the basket for what I think I need. And honestly, I didn't need everything that I put in there. Um, and you will see that at the end of this video. Um, she was way too over the edge of the basket and that was a lot. But safety is first for me. And so that is the reason I put the 10 pound weight on the inside of the basket. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had more weight on the inside of the basket than I could ever have on the outside of the basket. This little girl was tiny but mighty and she definitely did not weigh 10 pounds. <laughs> so that 10 pound weight was more than sufficient. Um, you can see that I've gotten her arms unwrapped. Her legs are still wrapped. And then I just go ahead and pose her in my hands. I make sure that her feet are a whole lot lower than her body and um, in doing that I can make sure that she's going to look up at my camera which is what I want because I wanted to be able to shoot down on her. Um, once she felt semi-calm to me and I felt confident enough to put her down I did. You can see here that she was a little upset so I just slowly rocked her. Now <laughs> if I were to speed up this video it would look like I was violently rocking her. This is what it actually looks like. I'm just generally swaying her back and forth and talking to mom as I'm doing so. Parents are in the studio with me all the time. They are watching what I'm doing. Um, she still wasn't settling. I could feel that she was very tense in my hands. So I did go in with her little passy there and gave that to her and it worked. She was so great, but I do have to go at their pace. And I think that's important to see, like this video itself is five minutes long and that is me making sure that she is comfortable, she is safe, and I'm not going too fast. Um, it is important to make sure that baby is comfortable because if I make them uncomfortable and let them get all kinds of worked up, then I'm just not going to get good shots. And I'm in this business to get as many great shots for my client as I possibly can. Um, so once I got her all settled... Uh, and I, I gave her a minute, like she needed it. <laughs> you can see her moving her head and just a little bit of discomfort. Um, but I do wait for her to settle and I don't know what I was talking about or who I was talking to. I can tell you though that I did make the decision to take one of her hands down because she was not a fan of having her hands trapped. So even when I had her wrapped, like she wanted to be able to feel her hands or at least feel that she could move one of her hands. So you can see that she's got one hand down and one hand underneath her chin. And I'm just working with her to make sure that she is nice and comfy. She looks pretty comfy. And I'm just hanging out there. <laughs> but 
What I didn't know, posing her from the side instead of the front, is that it wasn't going to photograph right because she was not anywhere close to looking down um, up at my camera. She was actually looking down, and that's the opposite of what I want. Um, I always leave a little tail on the inside of my prop so that that way I can pull it over to cover up those wraps that may or may not coordinate with the set. They're just underwear wraps. They're not meant to be um, photographed. But you can see here that she is just, <laughs> again, looking right at the ground. I could start to see it from the side, so I moved to the front. And I'm going to turn you guys off. But this is what it looks like once I got her all the way adjusted. You can see now that she's looking up at my camera, and she's perfect.